A group of scientists have discovered two 80-million-year-old fossil tracks in a remote area of the Grand Canyon that predate the, the appearance of the earliest dinosaurs, according to a press release from the Grand Canyon National Park. According to the press release, an international team of paleontologists discovered extremely well-preserved trackways of primitive tetrapods, four-footed animals, which inhabited an ancient desert environment. Paleontologists recognize the fossil tracks and say they were produced by a long-extinct relative of very early reptiles, of extinct tetrapods known as diadectomorphs, a primitive group that possessed characteristics of both amphibians and reptiles. The characteristics of the newly discovered tracks suggest the creature that made the prince walked on all four legs, with each foot containing five clawless digits. Although the actual track maker for the Grand Canyon footprints may never be known, the Grand Canyon trackways preserve the travel of a very early terrestrial vertebrate, the press release stated. Scientists from the Australian National University ANU, and overseas have discovered molecules of fat in an ancient fossil to reveal the earliest confirmed animal in the geological record that lived on Earth 558 million years ago. The strange creature called Dickinsonia, which grew up to 1.4 meters in length and was oval-shaped with rib-like segments running along its body, was part of the Ediacara biota that lived on Earth 20 million years prior to the Cambrian explosion of modern animal life. ANU PhD scholar Ilya Bobrovsky discovered a Dickinsonia fossil, so well preserved in a remote area near the White Sea in the northwest of Russia, that the tissue still contained molecules of cholesterol, a type of fat that is the hallmark of animal life. Lead senior researcher associate professor Johan Brox said the Cambrian explosion was when complex animals and other macroscopic organisms such as mollusks, worms, arthropods and sponges began to dominate the fossil record. The fossil fat molecules that we found prove that animals were large and abundant 558 million years ago, millions of years earlier than previously thought, said Associate Professor Johan Brox from the ANU Research School of Earth Sciences. Scientists have been fighting for more than 75 years over what Dickinsonia and other bizarre fossils of the Adikaran biota were, giant single-celled amoeba, lichen, failed experiments of evolution, or the earliest animals on Earth. The fossil fat now confirms Dickinsonia as the oldest known animal fossil, solving a decades-old mystery that has been the holy grail of paleontology. The team, led by Dr. David Wasi of the University of Western Australia and including Professor Martin Brazier of Oxford University, report the finding in the journal Nature Geoscience. At last we have good solid evidence for life over 3.4 billion years ago. It confirms there were bacteria at this time, living without oxygen, says Professor Brazier of the Department of Earth Sciences at Oxford. Earth was still a hot, violent place at this time, with volcanic activity dominating the early Earth. The sky was cloudy and gray, keeping the heat in despite the sun being weaker than today. The water temperature of the oceans was much higher at 40 to 50 degrees the temperature of a hot bath and circulating currents were very strong. Any land masses were small, or about the size of Caribbean islands, and the tidal range was huge. Significantly, there was very little oxygen present, as there were no plants or algae yet to photosynthesize and produce oxygen. The new evidence points to early life being sulfur-based, living off and metabolizing compounds containing sulfur rather than oxygen for energy and growth. Such bacteria are still common today. Sulfur bacteria are found in smelly ditches, soil, hot springs, hydrothermal vents anywhere where there's little free oxygen and they can live off organic matter, explains Professor Brazier. The microfossils were found in a remote part of Western Australia called Strelly Pool. They are very well preserved between the quartz sand grains of the oldest beach or shoreline known on Earth, in some of the oldest sedimentary rocks that can be found anywhere. We can be very sure about the age as the rocks were formed between two volcanic successions that narrow the possible age down to a few tens of millions of years, says Professor Brazier. That's very accurate indeed when the rocks are 3.4 billion years old. 
The microfossils satisfy three crucial tests that the forms seen in the rocks are biological and have not occurred through some mineralization process. The fossils are very clearly preserved showing precise cell-like structures all of a similar size. They look like well-known but much newer microfossils from 2 billion years ago and are not odd or strained in shape. The fossils suggest biological-like behavior. The cells are clustered in groups, are only present in appropriate habitats, and are found attached to sand grains. And crucially, they show biological metabolisms. The chemical makeup of the tiny fossilized structures is right, and crystals of pyrite, fool's gold, associated with the microfossils are very likely to be byproducts of the sulfur metabolism of these ancient cells and bacteria. Early fossils of life on Earth has been a controversial area. In the past decade, the barriers that need to be overcome before claiming such evidence have been raised significantly, aided by new techniques for mapping the chemistry of rocks at fine scales. In 2002, the same Oxford group suggested well-known microfossils from the apex chert in Australia were not the preserved forms of ancient bacteria after all. They argued that the context, shape and mineralogy of the forms were all wrong for them to be of biological origin.